So today I'd like to demonstrate how to prepare a cable for measurement with the AESA Vega device. For this, you'll need four Vago connectors for each side, like here, wire strippers, and a Vago tool like this. The important thing here is the amount of outer insulation you've stripped from the cable. We're aiming to have as much of the insulation remaining as possible up to the top of this groove that I'm showing now. And as you can see here on the far side, we already have the cable prepared and we're going to prepare the other end now. A good rule for approximating the amount of outer insulation to strip is roughly two fingers worth. So removing this insulation now, we can see that I'm starting this demonstration with an unshielded Cat6 cable. I'm going to also remove this inner part for tidiness. as well as this part here. So in terms of the amount of conductor we need to expose for each wire, you can see as an example here is roughly five millimeters. And the idea is to have each pair as flush as possible inside the connector without any exposed copper. So now we can go ahead and strip each pair, something that with this tool is possible to do in one most of the time. Now we need to take the Vago connector and the tool inserting the tool into the top two holes like so. Then we insert the pair into the connector paying attention to which of the wire of the pair goes into which hole with the striped wire going into the leftmost hole in this example. Now we remove the tool to fix the pair into place within the connector. I'm now going to repeat this for the remaining pairs, paying attention to retaining the original twist in the wire. Like I mentioned, we don't want to have any exposed conductor outside of the connector. So now we can connect the cable as such to make high frequency measurements, connecting the cable to the bottom four connectors. Um, I will show a clearer view when making the lower frequency measurements. It is of course critical to ensure that the pairs are in the correct order. As we can see, the length of the cable is ideal, so now we can add the covers. The cover is being held in place by these sprung pins you can see at the bottom. The 
these sprung pins at the bottom here. So we can insert the covers at the front first before pushing down the rear over the pins. This may require a slight bit of force. Repeating for the other side, we are now ready to make our HF measurements, for which I will switch to the software view. So now it's time to switch the cable to the configuration required for making low frequency measurements. So after removing the covers, we will move each pair into the upper four connections. These upper connections are for making the low frequency measurements.
Here you can see a clearer view of the upper four connections for the LF and the lower four for the HF. So repeating for the other side, we will then be able to start our measurement. As you can see, this was a bit quicker, so now we can produce the report for all of our tests and save these results. Here is an example of the report we have just produced. Finally, I will demonstrate how to prepare a shielded cable such as this. We are going to cut around two fingers worth of insulation as before, this time being much more careful not to damage the shielding inside. It can be very easy to cut into which will produce less than ideal results. Now peeling back the outer shielding we can begin to very carefully separate the pairs. You want to avoid crushing or tearing the shielding or opening it up at all, like this. Now again, stripping each pair, as before, approximately 5 millimetres, we need to avoid putting much force onto the shielding with our other hand, keeping it as close to as it originally was without crushing it. Trimming the conductors to keep them equal, we can now insert the Vargo connectors with the tool just as before. We want the shielding of each individual pair to be flush against the connector. Now doing so for the remaining pairs, we will now be able to perform our measurements, this time with our shielded cable. And as you have seen, it is a much more delicate process with a shielded cable and it may require some practice to do so cleanly.
So here we have it, our prepared cable. 